Hi, today we are going to go over license management from the acronis.com account. As you can see, we're already logged into the account here. In this account, there's a trial going currently for Acronis Cyber Protect Advance. We can see the different types of licenses that we have here. All of them are right now in trial mode. Registering new keys is very straightforward. It'll be delivered to you in a couple of different ways, either directly as a text document or as an HTML document. Regardless of how the file comes, you'll want to open the file and pull out the trial key or the, the license key you're looking to register. In this case, I have a license key here, so I'm going to go ahead and hit add keys. You can paste the key here. You can paste multiple keys at the same time, but for this demonstration, we're just going to do one. When I go ahead and hit add, that's going to verify the key. I can see it activated the key. And now if I come and look, the existing trial was still going. Well, as I come in, you can see it's going to refresh. So if I come back to my account, so if I come back to account.acronis.com, I can now see that I do still have some trials running, but for the license type that I have, I was able to actually see the count change. So in this case, I see one workstation license of CyberProtect Advance. That was the key that we registered. I can actually see the license expiration here. Now let's say we are going to be doing a license renewal. So depending on the type of license that you have, you may get just brand new net new licenses. That's pretty typical of our subscription keys. If you are renewing a older perpetual style license that we no longer sell, but we still offer renewals for, you would come in and simply click renew. In this case, I can see it's going to ask for, you know, what license type I want. Otherwise, for a perpetual key, it'll actually give me an option to register that renewal. I'd have a separate button here where I could register my invoice. With a traditional renewal on a subscription key, as I mentioned, you're just going to purchase an additional key when you purchase that key. It's going to be delivered in the exact same way. Now I can come in and hit add keys. Same kind of idea. I can copy the keys from the document that's sent, enter in the new key, and when I hit add, it's going to pick this up, but you can see there's a warning here. You have to decide how to merge the license key with your current keys in the next step. So when I hit continue here, there's two options. I can choose to increase quotas. So in that case, let's say I started with one machine, but then I decided I needed to protect more machines. I can purchase those keys at any time and say increase quota. The other option I have is renew. This is what you'll use at the end of your subscription term if you're extending your subscription term. So simply come in and select renew. You can see it's going to tell me what that change is here. So in this case, since it was a one year key, taking us from April 20th, 2025 to April 20th, 2026. If I choose increased quotas, it's going to change my one to a two. So it's actually going to give you a visual representation of the changes being made on the account. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit increase quotas because, you know, I've still got an entire year on this key and I want to bump that up to the, the two level here. When I hit register, that commits the changes. I now see that quota is increased to two. I can see my expiration date and I still actually have my trial running on my server, my virtual host. That's all we had to cover for today. Thanks for your time and have a good afternoon.